Some of you getting on, getting off at two, getting off at three. You already at the top, and you're going right back down. Now you're at two. Now you're at one. You met somebody along the way, and you start believing what they believe. They told you, oh, that's not going to work. Stop trusting man, trusting God. We know that we have to receive from God before we can see or experience what we believe for. Our confession is what God said is in his word about our situation. We build our hope on what God said. Therefore, when we confess our hopes, we are confessing what God said concerning our situation. So that's why Asaph was confessing to God. He said, look, I'm crying out to you. I remember the past. Then he said, oh, you, have you forgotten me? Have you forgotten me? Then he did say, but I do remember your deeds. So he's still keeping the faith, even though it's not working out for him. That's what we need to do. Keep the faith. Even when we don't see any change in our situation, at that point, because like I said, sometimes we're not going to receive a change until God wants us to change. Because if we, have, if we ever reach that level of faith that he thinks we should have, we're going to keep going around on that hamster wheel. We're going to keep riding that elevator up and down. Keep the faith. Pray, meditate, do what God wants you to do. Stop having no faith. Stop having little faith. Stop having that, that wavering faith, that doubting faith. 